Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to another great video from Execute Automation on Catalan Studio. And today we'll be talking about automating multi-factor authentication based application with Catalan Studio. So I have been getting requests from people asking how to automate a MFA token based application where the user has to automate it and enter the value using Catalan Studio. So there are many different ways that we can do this and let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. All right, so let's get started. So the objective of this video is to automate MFA based application login using Catalan Studio. Multi-factor authentication or otherwise called as MFA is a method of confirming a user's claimed identity in which a user is granted access only after successful presenting two or more pieces of evidence to an authentication mechanism. So there are different types of MFA available in the market and the one which we are going to discuss today is going to be the most common TOTP or otherwise called as time-based one-time password authentication algorithm. Time-based one-time password algorithm is an algorithm that computes a one-time password from a shared secret key and the current time. It has been adopted as an Internet Engineering Task Force, is the cornerstone of the initiative for open source authentication and is used in a number of two-factor authentication systems. In a typical two-factor authentication application, setup proceeds as follows. A user enters username and password into a website or other server. The server generates a secret key which the user enters on their TOTP application on the smartphone or other devices and then they could be able to log into the application. So the application which we are going to use is going to be pretty much like the TOTP and let's quickly see how it actually works. So basically a user enters a username and password and then they need to enter the one-time two-factor authentication or otherwise called as the MFA token. So this can be retrieved using any one of the authenticators like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator or there are different kinds of authenticator available in the market so you can use any one of the authenticator applications and then you can enter in here and then the application logs in that's it that's simple it is so I will quickly walk you through in the application that we have and I have also included the application in our exit automation github repository so you can take it from there so how to get the TOTP authentication code in Catalan Studio then? Because we know that manually we can get the authentication using this kind of applications like Google Authenticator or something like that. But how to get that authentication in Catalan Studio? We are going to make use of a AeroGear OTP Java API to generate a MFA token for us if we pass the secret for that particular application's constructor. So once we pass that, we can get the MFA token out from it. So for doing that, we need to import an external jar file in our Catalan Studio. So Catalan Studio allows the user to use external jar files or libraries either through Catalan project settings or by copying the jar file to a designated folder, which is nothing but the libraries folder or the drivers folder. And then Catalan Studio automatically takes that library and resolve all the packages from there. So user can leverage this to extend the capabilities of Catalan Studio and handle specific situation when needed, something like what we require in our case for the OTP generation. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Catalan Studio. Alright, so this is the same project which we have been working so long in our previous videos of the course, which is nothing but the API testing. But this time, I am going to make use of a new project because we're not going to use basically the API testing. We are going to make use of a uh, MFA token based authentication system or otherwise called as uh, TOTP authentication. All right. So this is our new project and the application, as I said, we're going to use is going to be a .NET Core based application. So this is the application that I'm currently running and this is the application we'll be using for our two-factor authentication. So this particular application is currently available in our GitHub repository of Exit Automation channel. You can download this and you can use it and it's completely free. So no worries on that. So I'm going to quickly run this code and show you how it works. So basically if you go to this particular URL, the local host, this particular URL, the localhost 53012, uh, 
so it's based on the IIS server that you have running in here and you can see the application is currently running so it's a two-factor authentication application so once you log in it is going to just ask you as usual the username and password so I have already uh, registered as a uh, user within this application and once I log in you can see it is asking us the two-factor authentication so I have already installed a client in my browser which is the Chrome extension and this is the uh, code the MFA token code that I'm going to pass in and once I log in you can see that I could able to log in within this application right so let's quickly see how can I register as a OTP for this application so once again as I said I have already downloaded this particular application in the Google Chrome so how to download that you can just go to the uh, Google and just search for auth token client you can see there is something called as one login or auth token generator or something like that or maybe auth token application for Chrome so you can see there is something called as authy Chrome client authenticator OAuth 2.0 playground something like that so I guess I have installed this authenticator this one and this is exactly what it is available in my browser right so it's very very simple and straightforward you can add to your Chrome and it is currently added in my Chrome browser already right so let's quickly walk you through how to register within this application so let's say I'm going to register as a new user so I'm just going to log in here and I'm going to log in as a user uh, let's call this as uh, catalon user at ea.com and the password I'm going to enter is something like capital K A T A L O N catalon at one two three and similarly I'm going to enter once again and then I'm going to register so this is going to register as a new user for me but for this new user we need to enable the two-factor authentication so if I click this particular uh, link here you can see there is something called as two-factor authentication so I can hit this and it will ask me add an authenticator app so I'm just going to add that and you can see there is a secret key for this particular uh, login so I'm just going to copy this and I'm also going to store this in my notepad because I need this for our automation as well so I'm just going to save this here and I'm just going to go to this application hit this one and create a new manual entry and let's call this as test3 enter the secret and it is a time based authentication that's what I'm selecting this is what we saw in our slide I'm hit OK so this is the code I'm gonna copy this paste it and hit verify oh sorry this is test3 right so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over here verify there we go so the user has this particular authentication right now so now if I log out log in as the Catalan user at ea.com and hit login you can see it is asking for the authenticator code now and just go to the application copy this and paste it over here and hit login you can see we are right now within this particular application so simple and so easy it is and this is the most common way of how our applications are being authenticated these days so how to handle this within our Catalan studio that's our quest and as I said before we are going to make use of this arrow gear OTP Java so you can see it is available in the github or it is also available in the maven repository and I have already downloaded this particular jar file within my machine so uh, this is the jar file you can download it from here so if you click this there is a you can download it it is just 11 KB all good the environment is set up right now and we are going to start automating it so automation is very very simple once again we are going to make use of the Catalan's uh, UI automation which is nothing but the record and playback so I'm just going to make use of that so this is the two-factor auth uh, test case I'm going to hit OK and I'm just going to do a record and playback so I'm just going to hit this record web and let's go to this particular URL I'm going to copy this URL and I guess the Catalan will bring this recorder for us which is this one I'm going to paste this particular URL and I'm going to record this in Chrome browser and you can see the Chrome browser has come up here 
maybe I can just drag it over there all right and then I'm gonna hit login so I'm just gonna enter catalan user at ea.com and the password and then I'm gonna hit login so this is gonna add ask the authenticator for me so uh, maybe I'm just gonna enter some authenticator here because I cannot just click that over here because the authenticator app is gone and then I'm gonna hit login there we go so that's gonna bring us uh, the login functionality of the application right so all good right now so let's stop this particular recording hit OK so this will ask me whether I need to save this particular object repository so I'm gonna hit OK so everything is generated that simple it is that's the power of our Catalan studio itself so you can see it has generated everything for me and the MFA token so this MFA token or the code as I said has to be generated each and every time once the application is launched so for doing that I need to add the jar files that we just uh, downloaded so I'm just gonna go all the way to the project and there is something called as settings so I'm gonna click that and if you go over here there is something called as external libraries options so you can select that and you can hit add so this will bring uh, the file chooser uh, dialog box so I can just uh, select the file that I just downloaded the jar file this one the air gear OTP jar file just sitting in my download folder so I'm gonna select that so you can see it is over here and then I'm gonna hit apply so you can see that it is currently copying that file and then I'm gonna hit OK so this will add the jar files for me within my project so if you just try to right click or maybe uh, open this containing folder to this particular project you can see there is something called as drivers folder and you can see this particular jar file sits in here so this is what is happening so basically if you refer the jar file it copies the jar file within this drivers folder so that's it that's what has happened here right so now we have everything in here and just that we have to uh, write the particular code to call this particular TOTP file or library so for doing that what I'm going to do is this I am going to create a new keyword so if you remember in our previous videos of this series I discussed about how we can create a custom keyword with Catalan Studio and that's exactly what I'm going to do this time as well so I'm basically going to create a package and I'm going to call this as MFA and then within this MFA package I'm going to create a new keyword so MFA and this is the uh, name of this particular uh, keyword right and then I'm gonna hit OK and within this class I'm gonna create a method and this method I'm gonna call as something like get MFA token alright and within this particular method I'm gonna start working with the TOTP library that we just downloaded TOTP so you can see once I enter this TOTP it automatically brings this particular package for me the one which we just added to the library so it's automatically coming in here so I'm just gonna add that and then I'm just gonna call this as TOTP is equal to new TOTP and here we need to pass the secret and again the secret is something that we just copy pasted uh, in our notepad this one if you remember while I was trying to register this user so I'm just gonna copy that and then I'm gonna paste it over here and then I'm going to return the current TOTP code which is generated which is there is a method called now so I'm going to use that right that's it so this is the uh, keyword that I have created so don't forget to add the keyword uh, annotation here if not the code is not going to work so once it is added I'm just going to save this whole code and then I'm going to go all the way to the two-factor authentication go to the script so now this two-factor authentication that we have here is actually not valid because we just recorded it so instead of this we're going to replace that to our custom keyword so I'm just going to call this as custom keyword and then within that we have this MFA read MFA get MFA token method that's easy it is so you can see the Catalan studio intelligence is much intelligent enough to bring that for us so I'm going to bring that right that's it so that's the very very simple procedure that you can use or do to work with the MFA token 
So now if I want to run this code and see how it works, so basically I'm just going to run this in Chrome and see what's going to happen. So it has opened the browser for me. Oops. I guess I have stopped the application for some reason. So I'm just going to run it again. All right. So now I'm going to execute once again in the Chrome browser. All right. The browser has been opened and you can see it is trying to log in. It's entering the username and password and authentication code you can see it is automatically generated and it has entered that value for us like sound three something like that and then it has also logged in super cool so this is how you can work with the mfa token of a custom library within catalan studio that simple it is and that easy it is so all we have to do is this we can make use of the powerful keyword option available in catalan to create a custom keyword to get a token and then we can use that keyword within our code to start working with it and using with it. So that's it guys. This is how we can work with MFA tokens and single sign-on option using Catalan Studio. So once again, thank you very much for watching this course and have a great day.